This is the best action movie I have seen this year. As a DC super fan, I cannot stress enough how much I have been looking forward to this movie from the moment it was announced that Jason Momoa will be playing Aquaman. So I remember when the first Aquaman trailer dropped online and I remember Marvel fans, yes, I'm talking to you Marvel fans, were directly comparing the two trailers and the two movies of Aquaman and Black Panther. Now in that video that was circling a lot on social media, the, the video was comparing the stories of Black Panther and Aquaman. Now on the surface, those two movies look very similar and this was at the time before most people had actually seen Aquaman. So it all was compared in the sense of a king or someone of royal descent who has lost a kingdom or is trying to gain a kingdom from a relative. Now in hindsight, now that I have seen the movie, those two movies couldn't be more far apart. I feel in terms of tone, in terms of scope, in terms of characters, they couldn't be more different from each other and now that argument holds nothing. First thing I want to get into is the characters and my god the characters of Aquaman were really 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 good. I am actually impressed and happy that DC has finally learned to put a good character as a lead and also good supporting characters. Thank you, DC. Thank you, Warner Brothers. You have finally learned. The first person I want to talk about is Arthur Curry, AKA Aquaman. And he was a very good leading character. I felt that the story of the movie was about him. He was a central figure from the flashback scenes to present day. And he carried the movie on his shoulders and I think he delivered very, very well. Jason Momoa did a very good job and I honestly cannot think of anyone else to portray Aquaman. Kind of like the way we look at Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. You cannot separate the two or even Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. They're just two people who you always associate towards a certain type of character. And I think Jason Momoa is now written in the books as Aquaman. The first big swing introduction we had to Jason Momoa as Aquaman was in Justice League. Now in Justice League, we didn't really know much about him. And in the movie, he was portrayed as this big, buff guy with tattoos who's really carefree and just doesn't like Atlantis for no apparent reason and we couldn't really understand who he was and what his motives were. So there was a big distance and gap between our knowledge of him and who he is. But now in watching Aquaman, I totally understand why he's a certain type of character and why he was who he was in Justice League because in this movie he's very carefree, he's lived his life a certain type of way, he's always got by through his fists and now when I look back at Justice League it makes sense and now it also makes me believe that we should have gotten a lot of other movies before we got Justice League. I still love Justice League though. I still love Justice League though. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god. Lying. The second character who really stood out for me was Mera. I think she was a very good leading lady. She wasn't a damsel in distress. She was kicking ass left, right and center. She had her own set of powers. She knew what needed to be done. She saved uh, Jason Momoa several times in the movie and she was looking very upset about it. And I really think that she was going toe to toe with Jason and the chemistry they had between the two of them were really was really good and I'm really happy that we got the true adaptation of Mera from the comics onto the screen. It was very, very, very well done. The third character who stood out for me, not in the sense that I will remember, but because he was just an average bad guy, was Arthur's brother Orm, aka Ocean Master. So his development throughout the movie wasn't really much. I mean, he was there as a villain. I understood just a little bit about him and quite frankly, he's not really my favorite type of villain. I think I'm gonna forget about him pretty soon. I hope that they begin to develop Orm's relationship with Arthur in the same way that Thor and Loki decided to grow together because 
when you look at the two types of characters, they're pretty much the same. They're both brothers who are of royal lineage and they despise each other but what Marvel did very well and what is working for them now is that Loki and Thor began to grow and they began to change and Loki was blurring the line between a good guy and a bad guy and I'm hoping to see something similar with Orm and Arthur just to try and see how they're able to grow but the first introduction I have of him is that he's okay is very forgettable as of now and I hope to see more of him in him. And finally, Black Manta, the only black guy in the movie. I think he was an okay side mission or like a side type of bad guy. He, he was okay, I don't have any problems with him. His suit was very well done. He had a very strong motivation towards Arthur. They fought throughout the movie a couple of times and the only thing I would positively say is that I want to see what will happen in the next movie because they left a lot of loose ends for that so yeah the action set pieces in this movie were so damn good like oh my gosh they were so so good more good than it deserved to be and I think all the credit goes to James Wan as a director and it also shows the experience he had with the Fast and Furious movies and the level of action in this movie is just amazing there are moments where an action scene is going and I'm like how the f did they do this it's that good and I just have to say that that is honestly some of the best action set pieces I have seen this year and that goes a lot considering Avengers Infinity War was this year. My only problem with this movie is that the story is very basic. I feel it's a story we've seen before several times. We've seen the same type of story in Black Panther. We've seen the same type of story in The Lion King and it doesn't do anything different with it. I feel it's a very set formula. Aquaman didn't really do much to that same type of story structure and and that is the only negative thing I would say about that movie. In conclusion, I feel Aquaman is the best action movie I have seen this year. I have seen the movie twice. I definitely intend to see the movie a couple of times. It is a good movie to watch with popcorn, with friends. If you're just looking to have a good time, I would easily recommend it to everyone and anyone to go see that movie. It is so freaking awesome. So guys, I would love to hear your opinions about Aquaman the movie and just tell me your best moments, your worst moments, whether you like the movie or not and I'm definitely looking out for what the Marvel fanboys have to say about DC's return to glory with this movie in the comments below. So just let me know and let's keep this family engaged and I will see you next time. Alright, later.